Hi, I'm Guy Hutchinson. This is Pointless Nostalgia. Today we're just showing off a bunch of different collectibles. You can get a sneak preview if you look over there. Uh, the first one I want to show you is this, to me, has always been the greatest take a negative and turn it into a positive. Uh, I don't know if you guys have these around you. I see these all over the place. These are Las Vegas. I, I've seen them with uh, Atlantic City ones. I live pretty close to Atlantic City, so. Uh, but they put these, they put these out in in dollar stores and other places all around the country. And what they're doing is the casinos have too many decks of cards. They finish. You know, they don't just play with the same deck for a year as it gets old and dirty. They swap them out early a lot. And so this particular one, it's not too bad. They cut the corners off. So they're cutting corners. But so the uh, the ones that have been, but the corners aren't even. So you kind of, it's almost like you could do some kind of a rising card trick or something with it. But the they cut the corners. Some other ones, they'll drill a hole right through the middle of it. So either way, you're getting some compromised deck of cards, but they advertise authentic casino played cards. It's authentically used. It's definitely 100% used in a place where you would wash your hands the second you left. Uh, this is from the Tropicana, Las Vegas. Uh, there is a Tropicana here in New Jersey. We were just recently there. Going looking at those movie locations from Penn and Teller, Get Killed. It was one of my favorite uh, favorite videos because it was one of my favorite movies. It was real neat to be up close and see uh, see the locations. I got some locations coming up in the next week. I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping to go to the locations from time after time. Not the movie. I'd love to go there. Uh, that's San Francisco, but. I want to go to the locations in New Jersey, but they're way up towards New York uh, from time after time. Cindy Lopper from the video where she's in like the cabin. No, she's in like a trailer out in the woods and then she she leaves him. She's going to the train station. Her mom's a ghost cap to lose a chef at a diner. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm going to probably go there. Also, if you've ever seen those remotes where David Letterman would run the drive through uh, there's a Taco Bell. I can't find the McDonald's, but I found the Taco Bell and I want to go there and another David Letterman remote place. I want to check out in upstate New Jersey. So got a lot of stuff coming up. All right, let's see what's next. All right. Now, now we go to the things I stole on vacation section. Uh, so this is a, is a napkin from the California grill. California Grill is located at the top of the Contemporary Hotel, the Contemporary Resort Hotel in Walt Disney World. Um, I, my, my, the thing I always say on camera is, is I ask for permission before I took it. But the truth is, I usually ask for permission, and I did on this one. If you ask, you know, you're running up a huge tab at this place. You you ask, you say, oh, I really like this. Is there any way I could get, you could put, you, you could add it to my bill. And they're always like, well, no, we can't do that. And usually they'll say, you know what, just, just take it, just take it. And so you kind of just, you're still kind of smuggling it out because like the waitress isn't checking with anybody. So, you know, if you get stopped at the door, but really, again, you spend all this money. The, Disney, the guy at the door isn't going to be like, I think that guy's stealing the napkin. <laughs> we better get that napkin back. Uh, but yeah, this is the napkin. I just love that it's embroidered. Um, and I bet other people take these because of that. But I'm sure also they probably get rid of these very often. But I love this. I think this is very cool. I use it at my bar, so I wipe down the bar with it. Uh, but thankfully, I don't spill very often, so it's still in still in about the same shape as the day I got it. Now, here's the stuff I stole out of my hotel room. <laughs> I love these uh, the little bottles of shampoo in the hotel room. I I have always been a you know take all the ones I can. Uh, you know, a lot of times I would if I would take one. Right? And then the second day, I'd hide that one, so they put a fresh one in there. Then I'd keep the fresh one and use that first one, but I could get more, but you just hide it. Put it in your suitcase. Uh, these were from, I stayed at the Cabana Bay Resort at uh, Universal last year. Yeah, last summer, and we had a great time. It was great. It's like this 60s-themed resort. It is 
it's way up my alley. I mean, everything about it, it looks exactly the way I would want. A, 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 if I was designing one, if you just took, if you just stuck a, a thing in my head that then fed to a computer, that's what I, the AI that I would have uh, would do that. <laughs> I hope it's not AI up there. All right, but these are, this is what was in my hotel room because it's this vintage themed place. They have VO5. Yeah, VO5. And so this is actually the bottle. I didn't do my trick to get an extra one. I, I just didn't remember to. So I took, this is what I got, but that's fine. Who cares? You know, I mean, this is, it's authentic. I actually use this. And then I didn't condition nearly as much, but there's the uh, conditioner. And I just love that. I mean, it's just so retro. It's so cool. Put a smile on my face. So the VO5, very retro. This is a very old item I have. I showed this on a short once, but I've never shown it on a video, I don't believe. But this I got from my grandmother. Uh, and so, yeah, she had VO5 in her, <laughs> in her bathroom, I'm sure. Uh, but I got this from my grandmother. This is a pillow somebody gave her after a trip to the Franklin Mint, which is in Pennsylvania. And when you're there, and I don't know if they do this anymore, and I've looked online, I have not found much else about these, but you used to be able to get this. It was very expensive. It was in the gift shop. This is all shredded money, and we're going to pull some out and look at it. But they also, back then, would sell smaller little trinkets that were filled with, with shredded money. So shredded money was like a common thing that you could buy then. I don't know if they sell it anywhere now. I do remember when I went to Atlanta, Georgia, 1996, they had uh i was there for the olympics and they had like a mint some kind of mint there i don't know what the atlanta mint is but they were giving out a few little samples of shredded money to everybody that walked by and i like that it was very cool you know they're like oh we're giving free money uh so anyway this is a, a pillow my grandmother had it on her couch and i was fascinated with it you know from the day she got it and like every time i'd go over there and i was at my grandma's house like almost every day and i'd still like always look at it and i'd just stare at it and try to you know like find like a five or something and so one day she was like i, I want you to take it take it and i said why and she was, I was like no, no i don't want to take it it's yours she's like no it's not comfortable I'm like, no, it is, you're right. It is not comfortable. And so uh, I've always had this, though, in the house. Never slept on it. Uh, it is hard plastic, which is also a grandma thing. You know, they used to have those plastic covers on the couches. Uh, but hard plastic with dollars in there. My grandmother also had the runners on the carpet, the plastic runners, so you couldn't step on her. You didn't, nobody touched anything in her house. We all walked through a plastic platform and then sat on a plastic cover on the couch. All right, here we go. Here is some of the shredded money. So I'm going to show you. You can, it's kind of cool. You can try to like make out parts of it. Let's see how good the focus will be on this. Like the edge of a bill. See, that's just like the edge. And they're all like a full cut. So you get like the whole, you get a cross section. This is the stuff I always looked for. This was always the fun part. Like, look, there's five. It's five. It's a $5 bill. I posted this as a short and the comments were, hey, it's illegal to shred money. So either you're a liar or a criminal and an idiot. So uh, I guess I would be if I, was, if I stole a lot of money and shredded up to make pillows. That's how rich I was from my crimes. Uh, but no, this was at one time, this was totally not only legal, but the US government sold it in a gift shop. I don't know if shredded money in this form is, is legal, but I would think it is. I just think they, they're they not looking to have too many. <laughs> like, this is something like, if you're like a rapper, you, this should be your couch. You got like a whole shredded money couch. A, a YouTuber. That's who needs this. Like Mr. Beast. All right, two more, two more. Uh, this is a stuffed animal, but he is... Obviously, he's a pervert because he's wearing his coat. Uh, you know, this is McGruff the crime dog. But I would say this is not a stuffed animal because it is made out of a material that it can't... It's not like something you can cuddle up with. It's hard. Uh, it's designed to stand up like on a shelf. It's pretty cool, though. He's got a little tag. Take a bite out of crime. I love the McGruff videos. are some of my favorite. I love them. All right. This is the last thing I got for today. This is by Thumb Ease. It's a Flintstones dictionary. Now the first thing, the first page is Phyllis Diller. It says Diller's deal. 
It says that you get Wrangler jeans for only seven dollars and seventy-seven cents. I don't know what's going on. We're on page one. I'm I'm wildly confused. We've got Phyllis Diller selling me jeans. I thought I was reading the dictionary. All right, here are the details. This is the details. If you want to get your Phyllis Diller jeans, I uh, got to be postmarked by October first, nineteen seventy-nine. But yeah, that's the. It's the ad at the front of the book. So this is kind of your typical uh, child's dictionary. I'm going to just open to a random page and I'll show you what I mean. You've probably seen these with Sesame Street or Mickey Mouse, other characters. So if we look up leather, there is an illustration of a, of a hand holding a probably Wilma or Betty holding a handbag, a leather handbag. And you can see they have all the characters. And so under leather, it says material made from animal hides used for shoes and handbags and sexy outfits, which also would have covered lace. But unfortunately, they don't have a cartoon of Betty Rubble wearing a lace nighty in this. Uh, but, oh, they do have, what do I say? They got, they got uh, Betty Rubble's, got her Rubble's right there. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty neat though. Yeah. Nice artwork. It's fun for the little kids. I don't know that every little kid is looking up the word ounce or, you know, the word for laboratory as if he's going to go back in time. They always also include like leopard, right? It's not like a kid's going to run into one. I know it's like a common thing to teach children about every animal, but it's like you're not, as a child, there would be no need for you to use the word leopard except for the fact that you're a child, so people always want to tell you about animals. Well, this is going to be a fun week. I think, again, David Letterman locations. Uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. So right now, box is going to pop up here. I think we're going to have fun. Another box over here. Uh, you can choose either one. Uh, I'm going to put something real good here. I'll tell you that. I'm, I personally picked this one based on this video for you right now. Click that one or that one if you're a rebel. I'll see you tomorrow, 2 o'clock.